So check this out. People wonder what I do. This is part of it. So this is the daily life for, for Tuck. I owned businesses for 20 something years and decided to go to work with a pension and insurances and stuff like that. So this is what I do and this is what's going to fund getting the boat ready. Well, we are in the process of moving. And so, you know, it's eight o'clock at night here in Nevada and it's still over a hundred degrees. And, but I'm, I'm ready to not do this anymore. It's been good. It's been nice to have something steady and not run a business. And I've owned four businesses. They were successful. I just got rid of them because of stress and different things like that. And so that's the reason I know how to do so much is I applied myself to learning new things and I listen to older people. So follow along as we show you how we are getting ready to go cruising. All right. It is the end of the day for Tuck. As I was saying, I owned four businesses and they were successful. I got tired of the, all the stuff. I grew up in construction. My father was a general contractor for 50 years and my mother was a painter for about 40 years. And I was swinging a hammer that was my toy basically and um so anyway then i owned a mechanic shop and i worked on boats my boats have always been a part of my life I always loved boats and water i've had i got my first boat when i was like 16. more like a dinghy really than a boat but i'm and so since then, I've always had a boat and had probably 30 boats. Me and Lenny Ben, if, um, we made it a hobby. Like we would go through three boats one year in one year or so. We would um, do that. We'd buy a boat and we'd fix it up. And then when I lived in Oregon for a while, I worked on big commercial boats because of my mechanic skills. I've done it on the side when I was up there and then just got into the commercial aspect of it. And then being in construction, when I was 17, I bought a backhoe and a dump truck. Went into excavation and all that. And so any of you guys have ever been affiliated with construction, or excavation, you're a mechanic also. You work all day and then you come in and you work on being a mechanic overnight because if you pay someone, unless you have your own crew, then it's a pretty bad deal. But now the idea is we're getting out of debt. That's the reason we're moving. We're not that much in debt now. With getting rid of the house in Vegas and all of that, then we can turn the properties that we do have and into a positive flow of income and then that will get us through until better things come along or i'm not afraid to to quit and find something else to do i've had a lot of experience in everything else so but i know this isn't a sailing video we're going back to the big boat to out of long beach in a couple of weeks and uh, probably take it out and hopefully do a little bit more sailing that's the plan i would take the mcgregor out but it's freaking hot and i mean so give you a little instance of, or a little example where i'm at i serve as part of death valley even though that i'm in nevada but it's hot in vegas too and then so it's it's just hot and that's not my idea of a good time being 120 out on the water i grew up in the south so i know what 90 degrees and 90 uh, percent humidity is too but um you know i've been working ever since i was about 12 after school summers and all that and I, and tuck's tired 
I've got about four and a half years. You've heard me say I've got about four and a half years before I leave. That's because of this uniform that I got on. I can't retire in four and a half years, but my other incomes will let me get through until retirement. And then um, UPS has a, a decent retirement and I will be able to collect it. So that's, that's the journey that we're on. And that's the reason that we're doing what we're doing. Just follow along with us. I know um, our videos are not always about boating and sailing, but I think that it is. I haven't seen very many channels that were like, okay, let's show how we got to cruising, how we prepared. And so in the next four years, that's what we're planning to do, as well as doing some sailing and learning the honer skills and learning the boat and refitting the boat and all those things that we're doing and so getting out of debt getting out of all the pre financial pressures and then with my salary being able to put most of it back we'll get to our our goals as fast as possible but thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button and like that video and just stay with us we appreciate every one of you <laughs>